salvation was designed according to scripture to affect the entire tripartite nature of man please look up now we're discussing the mentality of a victor salvation was designed to affect the entire tripartite nature of man as you know man is essentially spirit am i right on that and that that spirit only finds expression in the earth when it is within a body based on the law of territory a spirit is not authorized to find free course in the earth until and unless it is in partnership with a body it is the reason why evil spirits and all kinds of spirits seek bodies and that also includes the spirit of the living god are we together any spirit that functions upon the earth without a body is functioning illegally is the reason why god who is spirit wanting to become flesh had to pass through the womb of a, mo a woman to have a material frame for that body are we together now this is very very important so salvation was designed to affect the entire tripartite nature of man the bible very clearly lets us know that there are three dimensions to man's nature essentially the first is his spirit please do not forget this the second the bible calls it the soul but in discussing the tripartite nature we really call it the mind because the mind is simply the spirit in partnership with the mind that's what you call a soul a soul is simply the spirit having its consciousness with the mind are we together so you would oftentimes see the bible say spirit and body or soul and body it will look like they are just two elements that is because the spirit and the soul the only difference is the partnership of the mind your spirit with your body alone will not function the mind plays a very vital role it connects your spirit to your body so that all of the impulses that come from the spirit can be executed within the body without a mind your spirit has no direct connection to the body are we together now this is very important let's look at a few more scriptures that attest to the fact that god designed man to be tripartite in nature this is about the most classic scripture that describes all of the faculties of man hebrews 4 12 for the word of god is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder watch this now of soul and spirit everybody says soul and spirit one more time say soul and spirit then it does not stop there the bible says and of the joints and the marrow that is the body the joints and the marrow and then it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart the word heart there is often interchanged for mind so we see the entire expression of man as designed by god i have taught you here that for you to be called man there are certain conditions that must happen to be called man not every of god's creature can be called man are, are, are we together now you cannot call animals man you cannot call demon spirits man you cannot call angels man there is only one group of god's creation that qualify to be called man and there are certain conditions that must be met for you to be called man number one you must be a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be a man number two that spirit must be hosted in a material frame a material body number two you must have the solical faculties of the will emotions and intellect capacity to make choices capacity to make independent decisions are we together if this does not coexist you are not a man it doesn't mean you are not alive but the condition for you to be man number one is that you must be spirit and that spirit must be hosted in a body a material body are we together and that interfacing that spirit and that body must be the solical faculties of the mind containing the will emotions and intellect will controls your ability to make choices your emotion helps you to interact with the impulses in the psychological realm are we together and then your intellect helps you to contribute to to comprehend logically 
the world that is around you. Without intellect, there is no basis for logic and reasoning. You can have will, you can have emotions, but the intellect is the part of the mind that is responsible for creating synergy and order. You have learned abilities and that happened through the presence of the intellect. Are we together? Praise the name of the Lord. So Hebrews 4 and verse 12 tells us that the word of God is able to dissect the entire frame of man as designed by God.